a smaller 44 Magnum. Now this is a bear gun that you'd actually carry. Now it doesn't matter where you are in the country, people want a bear gun. Guys in uh, Alabama are looking for a bear gun these days. So we wanted to see if a bear was charging at us, how long would it take me to get five rounds off and actually try to hit the bear? So we've got our bear down there, let's see what happens. All right, five shots, four, a little over four seconds. So, and they're actually all hit the bear. <laughs> now, you know, if a bear can run 40 miles an hour, how long does it take him to cover 10 yards? I don't think we want to find out. Some guns are just too good to die. Paul, you guys have brought back one of the favorites. Well, this is our Model 66, um, and it, it's been out of line for about seven years now, eight right. years now. Uh, and it's on that ever-loved K-frame configuration. Just a great feeling size for a revolver. 357 Magnum? 357 Magnum. Okay. Uh, we eliminated, we really eliminated the K-frame 357 Magnums when we introduced our L-frame configuration. Well, you had new ammo out that was getting hotter and hotter. That was part of the issue, wasn't it? It, it was. I mean, everybody's got to keep in mind that at the time that we developed the K-frames, you know, the ammo back then was a 38 Special. Right. Uh, so when the 357 Magnum came out and Smith & Wesson was part and parcel of, of introducing that round, uh, we chambered these guns for that. Uh, but the intent of the gun was a 38 Special, so as you really went in there and started shooting a lot of 357s, it caused a lot of wear and tear on the guns. Sure. So you've done, made a few changes, very subtle changes, very but now subtle. it'll handle a 357. It, yeah, we have. We made subtle changes to increase the durability of the gun so it can take a steady dose of 357. And it's back to that K-Fame configuration that everybody loved. Exactly. Now you take this concept and you bump it up just ever so slightly to the L-frame, this is the one that got my attention. Yeah, and this is, I mean, this is our, one of our latest configurations. It's something to be pretty excited about. Yeah. Uh, this is our Model 69, and the neat thing about this one here. Uh, Look at this, five holes in here, but they're real big holes. It's 44 Magnum, so it's a much more <laughs> compact 44 Magnum than we've ever done in the past. It is, I mean, anybody that's held the end frame, the big 44 Magnum, pick this up and go, whoa. You give up one round, Give up on round. Okay, but you now have a great carry gun for bear protection, hogs these days. Absolutely, make a great hog hunting gun. But you could also stuff this with 44 Special, which would be wonderful for shooting at the range and also home defense. Home defense. So, you know, ultimately what we've done with this gun is, is we made it extremely versatile. Great for hunting, great for backup, great for home protection. I love it.